In this video, we're going to look at index law one, which states that if you multiply terms with the same base, you can add the powers. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down two terms that are multiplied together. So one term is two to the power of four, and the other term is two to the power of three. Notice that both of these terms have the same base, the base being 2 in this instance. We are told when we do this, we can add the powers. I'm going to show you why. What is 2 to the power of 4? Well, that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. It means multiply 2 four times. What is 2 to the power of 3? This is 2 times 2 times 2. I multiply 2 three times. Now, if I look at this expression down below, you'll count 7 2. So this is the same as 2 to the power of 7. You may have noticed that we could have simply added our powers in order to simplify this expression. I could have said my powers are 4 and 3, so if I add them together, 4 plus 3, I get 2 to the power of 7. Let's use this to simplify questions in example one. Notice that it wants you to give your solution in index form. So we're not solving it, we're just simplifying it. So question A, we've got a power of three and a power of seven. So we add these powers up and three plus seven is 10. So the base stays the same, we add the powers. Now looking at question B, we're doing it three times but that's okay, we still just add the powers. So our base number is five, and we add up our two, our three, and our four, which gives us five to the power of nine. Now moving on to question C, you'll notice that we've got a power of four, and the other number doesn't have a power. Now what you need to remember is that when it doesn't have a power, technically it's got a one there. One meaning I've only got one three. Now we can add them up. The base number is three. Four plus one gives us three to the power of five. And that concludes our video on index law one.